Now is the time. Judge Torres ruling last month that XRP is not a security is a major step forward for rippling XRP, as many of you may recall. Judge Torres's statement that XRP doesn't necessarily meet the strict conditions to be classed as an investment contract was emphasized by Brad Garland House in a tweet about the regulatory landscape. Ripple's chief legal officer, Stewart, who has more than three decades of legal experience, echoed this sentiment, confirming that, from a legal standpoint, XRP is not a security. Furthermore, the delivery of XRP to developers, charity, or employees, nor the trading thereof, do not constitute securities. The only exception to this rule was when XRP was sold directly to certain institutional clients in the past. The focus of any future litigation will be narrowed squarely on these transactions. Sincere gratitude goes out to everyone who has worked tirelessly over the years to advance this cause at the forefront. Welcome back to Coin Lady Channel, your trusted source for all things XRP related. This decision is a big win for XRP and validates many of the crypto community's arguments, most notably that the SEC does not have unchecked power over digital currencies. The XRP network has been relisted on a number of major exchanges. Important reminder to users to only transmit this asset over the authorized channel. If not, you run the danger of having your money stolen. For the time being, exchanges and wallets like Coinbase and Coinbase continue to allow transactions in regions where trading is legal. As the asset supply stabilizes, trading for XRP against the US dollar, the Swiss franc, and the euro will be pushed up progressively, however, in some countries, XRP support may be limited. Bitstamp, a major trading platform, has just made the exciting announcement that XRP trading is once again active for its US clientele. In addition, Kraken hinted about the relisting of XRP with a cryptic graphic. XRP Ripple trading was only declared official in the United States a few hours later. The stock price of XRP shot up to a remarkable $94.79 after a slew of positive news. This progress is remarkable. The enthusiasm continues to build. In fact, a flood of financial institutions have recently tweeted about their partnership with Ripple. The Bank of Japan, sometimes shortened as BOJ, has announced that it plans to use Ripple's XRP to improve the efficiency of international transactions. To learn more about the BOJ's decision to use XRP to facilitate international wire transfers, check out this post on CryptoAlert.com. This change is more than just a minor tweak, it is a watershed moment for the cryptocurrency industry and the increasing integration of digital currencies into conventional banking. The Bank of Japan BOJ, has been remarkably proactive in their examination of the expanding possibilities presented by blockchain technology and digital assets. The BOJ's partnership with Ripple also demonstrates the increasing legitimacy and reliability of cryptocurrencies in the international banking system. When a major player like the Bank of Japan gets on board, it sends a message to other financial institutions around the world about the real-world benefits and potential of incorporating digital assets into their transactional frameworks. This also paints a bright future for XRP and other similar assets, which is great news for crypto fans and investors. The developments further demonstrate Japan's leadership position in terms of technological innovation and financial stability. Once again, the country with a reputation for technological innovation is breaking ground, this time by laying the groundwork for the integration of cryptocurrency with conventional banking. To what extent blockchain technology and digital currencies will continue to revolutionize the financial environment remains to be seen as the industry as a whole continues to develop. The central bank's plan to incorporate XRP into its financial systems has the potential to greatly improve the speed, efficiency, and low cost of cross-border transactions. The Red Bull Network's flagship digital currency, XRP, has been in the spotlight as the cryptocurrency of choice, for instant, low-cost international payments. The Bank of Japan is looking to improve their international payment methods, and these features make it the obvious choice. I have a little favor to ask of you before we close up this part. 
Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It's been an amazing ride making material for you guys for the past 3.5 years, especially throughout the legal ordeal. Hitting the like button and subscribing would mean the world to me, so please do so. I'd like to briefly revisit the Fed now payment mechanism. There has not been a security verdict on XRP yet. Both XRP and XLM were on the Fed's radar as possible tools to advance the blockchain component of their Fed now effort. The Federal Reserve's Real-Time Payment and Settlement Service is an effort to update the antiquated U.S. monetary system. The use of blockchain technology, in particular tokens like XRP and XLM, corresponds with this ambition by providing a more secure, transparent, and efficient mechanism for financial transactions, making it possible to provide rapid payment services around the clock, 365 days a year, with their ability to support fast, low-cost cross-border transactions, digital assets like XRP and XLM are creating a stir in the financial technology world and seem like a natural fit with the goals of Fed today. Although XRP's recent certification as a non-security has facilitated the formation of such collaborations, it is essential to remember that this isn't a question of whether cryptocurrency is better than another, rather, it is a reflection of the broader trend toward the adoption of decentralized technology in the conventional banking industry. Crypto enthusiasts have been singing the praises of blockchain and digital currencies for their revolutionary potential for quite some time. It seems to reason that the Fed currently payment system wouldn't be able to use XRP, but seeing institutions like the Bank of Japan and the Federal Reserve taking deliberate moves towards this integration feels like a turning point. If the Federal Reserve wanted to make effective use of the payment capabilities of the XRP ledger, it would need to treat the cryptocurrency as a security. The designation of XRP as a non-security was crucial, and it was ultimately granted. I'm referring to a tweet I posted on July 7, 2023, and we had a lengthy conversation about. It demonstrates how both XRP and XLM have the potential to expand the payment possibilities enabled by blockchain technology. This tweet highlights a major step in connecting the worlds of conventional banking and decentralized finance by mentioning the Federal Reserve's new services collaboration with Metal Blockchain to speed up payments. To put it succinctly in light of the recent verdict, it seems increasingly probable that XRP will play a pivotal role in the blockchain component of the FedNet payment system. Ripple is well known for its experience in international payments and its contribution to open-source ledger technology for fiscal operations. Think about the significance of this in the present day. This announcement is historic because XRP is the first fully regulated cryptocurrency in the United States. Changing gears to talk about XRP's price movement, it's worth noting that starting at 10 a.m., XRP's market cap increased by an unprecedented 18 billion in just hours. XRP's market value had been at around $24 billion, but in only a few short hours, it had exploded to a new all-time high of $42 billion, surprising even the popular charting platform TradingView. A theoretical value of $149.29 has been put on XRP by one analyst, who believes we are now in phase one. The analyst also expects three distinct phases of XRP's growth, with the second phase predicting a value of $2,742.24 contingent upon rippling increasing relationships, a jaw-dropping $63,731. This is the expected valuation once the relisting surge stabilizes the third stage, which is expected to begin once global transactions are easily incorporated into the XRP ledger and the momentum is definitely visible, is slated to begin on December 21. The market capitalization and value of XRP have been steadily rising over the past few months. In an upcoming technical analysis video, I'll be diving deeper into the rumors that imply we're on the verge of a fresh bull run if this scenario plays out. The ramifications might have far-reaching effects on the crypto industry as a whole, and on XRP in particular. The data disperses claims. The value, volume, and cost of XRP are all trending upward. To reiterate, I am not a certified financial planner. These videos are intended solely for amusement purposes. 
I often stress the importance of people doing their own due diligence and talking to experts before making any major life changes financially. We appreciate your listening. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you later, bye.